one week in November starts now. All right, it is the day before the first haunt here in Montana. So I'm gonna get camp set up. Then I'm gonna go scout probably the last like 90 minutes of shooting light. We're gonna stay a safe distance away so we don't disrupt any deer. Um, but that'll inform part of what I'm gonna do in the morning. So just gonna get camp set up. It's warm and windy right now. Tomorrow it's gonna be warm and windy, but looks like those are the only days this week that we're dealing with uh, less than ideal conditions. Just got out to uh, Western Minnesota here. And I've been down here scouting a little bit, but there's a property here, really big property that I wanted to look at. It has a river running through it. And so I'm just trying to find some quick pinch points because the forecast is like mid seventies for the next three days. And three days is all I have in Minnesota here. I've never hunted this area. Um, I've never even hunted anywhere close to here. And so I'm just trying to figure out something really quick today. I've got two spots I like on a different property, but this one is like kind of my style with the river bottom and some of the open stuff. I've only got three days here. The conditions suck. There's quite a few pheasant hunters and stuff in here. So I was like, I'm coming here just to hunt a buck, forky, 140 inch, I don't care what walks by. But when I find something like this, I don't know, it changes how I think about things a little bit if I shouldn't concentrate on this area because that's a big deer. And he's got sign laid down right here. That's a really impressive rub. Just catching up on a little wired to hunt podcast, trying to polish up all the all the rusty spots on my whitetail armor with Mark Kenyon and Tony Peterson. Love it. Season two of One Week in November kicks off now, and I have just rolled into Nebraska. This is one of the coolest regions I've ever hunted. I've hunted here twice before, so when I was thinking about what I wanted to do this year, I wanted to have fun. And this place is fun. So it's actually Halloween, it's October 31st today, and I am heading out to a vantage point where I can glass down into this river bottom country, which I'm gonna start hunting tomorrow. Tonight, I just wanna get eyes on something. And uh, I can't wait to get this thing going.
7.15, I've got to walk in here and hang a set this morning. Um, I feel good, man. November 1st, this part of the world is really good. Day one of uh, one week in November and I am like about ready to explode. I feel so full of nervous energy because I really don't know if I'm on gear. The weather is brutal. We're talking 70s the next three days. Everybody's going to be complaining about that. So I'm, I, I keep thinking that mornings are going to be the ticket because it's cold. Uh, but I just don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm on enough to be super excited about this part of the rut yet or not, but I'm going to find out. Razor Mark. 
but it's even a little bit lighter than I expected. We'll see if any bugs show up. on when people are going to kill deer. Mark Kenyon is trying to come back from a rough November last year. Mark's going to be ready to kill something. He's in a really good spot. He's done his homework. Mark's going to kill on day three a really nice deer. Tony Peterson only has three days to hunt in Minnesota, and he's trigger happy anyway. He's going to kill a deer by tomorrow midday. Jonas Putellis is wanting to make his mark on the group and kill a nice calculated deer in Wisconsin. I think he's going to take the whole week, but he's going to kill a nice deer. Spencer Newharth will kill on day two and kill again on day five. I'm probably going to kill one in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Spencer. 
Spencer or Clay. Spencer's got the gun, so he can just reach out and touch a lot more stuff than the rest of us, so that gives him good odds. There's a ton of deer on that spot he's hunting in Montana. And then Clay's got access to a really, really good farm this year, so if he killed one on day one, it wouldn't shock me either. He's been getting pictures of a really big deer on corn, I guess. So that uh, that could be a recipe for a good a good night tonight, or maybe even still today this morning. So. <coughs> Didn't see a single deer this morning. It's warm now, but I'm really banking on our evening sits paying off for us this week. So I'm gonna eat some lunch and then pretty go to stand fairly quickly. Feel good about the scouting I got done midday. Hung a couple cameras, got eyes in a couple spots. So now it's, I'm just heading back into that same stand I put up this morning. And uh, you know, from what I saw last night, there is a lot of activity back and forth through that little pinch of timber. So didn't get it this morning the way I thought I would, but it's gonna happen eventually. Why not tonight?
last night I scouted from the hill top here and I saw at least two different bucks cruise right by this tree. So just need one of them to do it. And uh, you know, last year I didn't have that luck. Maybe this year I do. And we'll get some first day magic. Cross my fingers. Something went wrong. 